and welcome back to the Cheerses. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to do the splits. Before we get started, we recommend to wear sports clothes for this activity. Let's get started stretching. Let's do the first part of the stretch. Well, the first part is of the stretch is to hold this for 10 seconds. So, let's get started. One, two, three, four, into a deep long lunge like that and we're going to hold that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to put our hands up high into foxes and then we're going to bend down to our toes and hold that for 10 seconds too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. And now guys, I'm... also if you don't know what's fox ears, it's it's like so you put your hands behind your ear like yeah. this and hold them up and straight, not like this. Okay. And now we're gonna go into a deep lunge again and then we're gonna take your back leg and hold it and try and pull it as far as you can. But if you can't pull it that far, it's okay. And hold that for ten seconds. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to do it with our other leg. So deep lunge and hold that for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to put our hands up in foxes and bend down to our toes and hold that for ten seconds. Two. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go into our deep long lunge again and we're going to grab our back leg and hold that for 10 seconds too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's the end of part two of stretching. This is the third part of the stretch. Well, the third part of the stretch is to stretch our hands, ankles, and wrists. Well, the first part for stretching our wrists is to lean forwards and, and twist our hands backwards and put them on the ground and hold them for five seconds. One, One two, three, four, four five. five. Now, we're got the second part of stretching our wrists is to circle them in circles for five, five seconds. seconds. One, two, three, four, five. five. Now we're gonna the second so the second part of this is to stretch our ankles. ankles. Well how do you stretch it in our ankles? You just put them in circles. And do that for five seconds. So one, two, two. Three, four, four five, five, six. Okay, now we're gonna stretch our head. So you put it so you put it on on the left side and you hold it like push it to the left and you hold you hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna do it to the other side and also hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna pull it, pull it back, back, and hold this for five seconds. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. Now we're gonna put it forward. forward. 
and also hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to circle our head around like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to switch it the other way. So, right, way. Right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that's the end of step two. Let's do the fourth part of the stretch. So for the fourth part of the stretch, we're going to go into a wide straddle and we're going to put our hands up in foxes and then we're going to reach to one side and hold that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to go up in foxes and then we're going to reach to the other side and hold that for five seconds too. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to reach to the middle and hold that for five seconds too. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the end of stretch four. Now we're still in the fifth part of the stretch. So the fifth part of the stretch is to seal and hold it for five seconds and a cat pose for five seconds and a child pose for five seconds. So let's get started. So you lay down on the seal and you hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. five. No. This heel, we're gonna go into a cat pose. One, two, two three, four, four, five. From the cat pose, we're gonna go onto a child pose and hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, three four, five. five. So that's the end of step five. We're almost doing the sixth and last part of the stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie down on our backs and then we're gonna grab one leg and we're gonna try and pull it down. But if you guys don't know how to do this, it's also okay if you just have it here. It's just that you guys have to feel the stretch over here. So we're gonna hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five. And that, that's the last part of the split. started with doing the split. So how to do the split, we're gonna be going into a very long lunge and we're going to be trying to slide down as far as we can. If you can't go down lower, then we're gonna hold this for as long as you can. But if you can down, go down into the splits, we're gonna just hold this. But if you can't, you can try another method. We're gonna go up, hold it here, then we're gonna try and slide down from here. And again, if you if you can only slide down here, we're gonna hold this here. But if you can slide down to the split, you're gonna just hold this, hold the split for as long as you can. Well, I would actually say to hold the split for 15 seconds. But if you can't do that, you're just gonna hold it for as long as you can. So you actually doing the splits, not like something close to the splits, but actually doing the splits, you can grab, like, draw a line on your floor, like, if you have, like, a floor you can draw, like, with chalk on, then you can try, like, and draw a line and then do the splits. Like, see, I have, like, a mattress here, and I have a line, so I can check if I'm actually doing the splits, and you say I'm doing the splits. But if you don't have any chalk, or if you can't draw on your floor, you can check if your hips are square. So basically what you're gonna do, depending on the leg you have in front, I have, this is my left leg in front, but I can do um, the splits on both of my legs. So if, if I were to put my leg, if I were to do the splits with my left leg, then I'll put my hand up, like my right hand, and I will put it in front, and I'll put my back hand in, and my left hand in, to the back. But if I did the split on my right leg like this, then I want to grab my left hand, put my left hand here, and then grab my right hand and put it back. So that's how you check if you're actually doing this split. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and write us comments. Bye! Bye. See you soon! Bye.